Hey everybody, my name is Daryl Beckers. Our family of five is in Buffalo, Minnesota, about 45 minutes northwest of Minneapolis. I learned to cook uh, through my mother. My mother taught us two boys how to cook and we are the principal cooks of our families now. Uh, one thing that my mom taught us to do really well was to start out with invitations to the kitchen and to learn accessible recipes that would be successful but then that we could take to the next level. So taking something like banana walnut muffins and then taking them to the next level for our personalization would be through chocolate chips. I see cooking through the lens of continuous improvement. My wife and I are both educators and we see cooking like we see teaching and learning, much like golf. So that when you're driving home from a round of golf, you think about the things that you want to do better. If you finish a lesson that you know talks about uh, using verbs in the present tense in Spanish that's something that we think about on the drive home is how can we take that that lesson and kick it up a notch like chef Emeril Lagasse talks about we are huge fans of chopped show we've watched it for many years it's one that the whole family likes because it it has that competitive side but then also the feedback from the chefs. And that's what I'm looking forward to most. Um, as someone who learned to cook at home, had a chance to cook for three years at a restaurant, my first three years in teaching in the summers, I've had a chance to bring those skills, whether it's um, treatments like saute, smoke, sear, or sous vide. Uh, I take those techniques then into my own home kitchen to cook for my family. And something that I'm finding out in my mid-40s is that my mother taught us to cook, not for the food, like when I would call her from college wanting to know how to make her stroganoff in October when the, the temps start to get a little bit chillier in Minnesota. I actually found out that I, I learned how to cook because of the food, was to get the people around the table, the people that we love and care about. So I look forward to showing you um, a dish that I did not grow up with, chicken tikka masala. One of the other things that I would love about um, being on Chopped is learning to think even more quickly on my feet. I'm a planner. Uh, we have a second refrigerator downstairs for prepping so that when something is marinating overnight, like chicken tikka masala, uh, that we can just pull it in when we get home, things go quicker because as a group of three children, ages seven, 12, and soon to be 16, the clock is ticking like in Chopped where we need to have dishes ready to go before kids go to activities, whether it's choir, basketball, wrestling, etc. So I look forward to walking you through this recipe and kind of the steps that I take in a dish that's newish to us, something that we've cooked in the last two or three years and, and that really has become a family favorite.